It's only one way to start. The cool. defenders that have performed at VVD's level is Rio, John Terry and Vidic. I mean, how long are we going to act like this guy's a top striker, man? <laughs> you can't you can't win any game of football with a spastic keeper like that. Worst, worst week ever as a Spurs fan. I really think the most pertinent issue that we can discuss and I've said that I'm not... That love's a big word. Right? <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've said on this podcast. You just that. said Spurs, Spurs are in that. turmoil. You know you want to say it. Go let him press it. Hey, listen, man. You, have, you know you have to fade. Oh, wait, hold on. You have to fade it out because the the copyright thing and all that. <laughs> no, don't want to get the video taken down. <laughs> listen, real. forget all of that. Listen, we're live, back in the flesh, live and direct. live and direct, direct in effect. <laughs> all of them things there. Stoppage time is back. All of this the Zoom stuff. Home. All of you people piping up and doing all of this. It's done. It's done. Don't cry. It's don't done. Beg. We're here. It's all over. We're here. Your run was almost nice. It's not nice anymore. We're here. Tell We're us. back. Listen. Tell us. Listen. Come, come. I like this. Restoring energy. the feeling. <laughs> the feeling is being restored. It's back. What We're do you back. mean? We're back. Listen, We're back. Listen, like in case this. you're new around here, home. this is the best footballing show on YouTube. This is Stoppage Time TV. I go by the name of Maiwa, a.k.a. Obiagu. And I'm joined by two of my... <laughs> My, my you good friend, that big stick Obi, I want to stand with that's sticking. Obi, that's sticking. <laughs> John by my right hand here, F. Diddy, a.k.a. Gaddafi, a.k.a. Fuad. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> We've got Mr. Proof in the Puds. Come on, man. You know how it goes. Mr. Agenda. We've Come got on, Culture Cams. Back. And back. there's only, back. in true stoppage time form, there's only one place to start, and that's hold tight the three-point collectors in the room. Hey, which I mean, is myself. Well, you Free game for. week for me. But listen, before we go into all of that, before we go into that, some of you are going to be new here, so make sure you're following all of the socials. Make sure you're following our personal socials. I'm sure we'll, they'll make it fly up here somewhere. Make sure you're following everything. Listen, big and bad, we're here this season. We're here to do stuff. Listen, listen, listen. content's going to be flying. Wicked and no, bad. No, we're not wicked <laughs> and bad. We're big and bad. Not wicked and bad. Big and bad. Big and bad. <laughs> big and bad. You know that one's there. You see it. Come that dog. Bro, big <laughs> season, big season coming. They don't know what we got loaded. But listen, let's get into it, man. Couple games happened, couple few things that we need to get into. But I'm gonna toss it over to you, bro. Bruh. Talk to me. First game back, no fans. You bought the new kit out. You bought the merch. You got the trim. You did the photo shoot. <laughs> got, your little, got your little needs to get the picture out. No, no, no. Aye, no. listen. And the rest is yeah. history. So next year, holler at me for the advertising, <laughs> B. Half the price. Yes. But listen. Spurs, nil, Everton, one. Talk to me. Bro, like, s- different season. Same old Spurs, big man team. It's, um, <clears throat> you look at the two teams. I saw immediately when I saw the lineups, to be honest. It was, Pete, when I saw Winks, Ali, and, um, Hoiberg is our midfield. I mean, Hoiberg, yeah, he's a new addition, but when I see that compared to Alan, Hammers, and Decore, I'm sorry, I, I knew immediately they were going to dominate possession. The way that game went, pff, not one positive, in my opinion, to take out of it. And that's from, I'm talking, Jose has got nothing to say. Like, the squad, I think individually, you look from top to bottom. I don't think anybody played well. Like, Dyer, who I've been saying all season was too sloppy on that mark and I'm sorry but when you're letting Calvert-Lewin who you're giving him an, a run on the ball mm. you're not even keeping an eye on the man it's basics like Doherty yeah we saw flashes kind of going forward but I said in the kind of intro video when he was coming I said in a back four we don't know how he's going to look and he's got this mm. license to go forward but coming back what are you going to look like Hoiberg I'm sorry but that debut that was a rough. stinker rough that was that rough, was bro. A stinker. And I, I, I had. Oh, blame me. <laughs> oh, that was a stinker, bro. And and especially when you've got hammers on the other side of the pitch playing the way he's playing, and you're like, right, these men are copping that. And we're getting this. All right, cool. But I'm expecting better games from him anyway. But Mora reverting back to himself, and I'm sorry. As much as I love to protect my two boys up top, Kane and Son, invisible yesterday. Like you didn't even know they were on the pitch. And and I'm sorry, they could have done more. Can they I ask you a done more. quick Go question? Because I know there's, lo- there's, there's stuff you want to get into. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon Son gets a lot with murder? Uh, he gets away with murder. I think he's earned the right to get away with a bit of murder. Every once in a while, I I I I'll let Son get away, with, pure and simply because of the fact that 
last two seasons how he's stepped up in when Kane's not there and the fact that he's arguably our most consistent player week in week out the we're, sun we're, the sun come under the same scrutiny the Rashfords, the Mane's, the Salah's, the Hazard's, the all these players that have been in the Premier League or the, at that level of the wingers, does Son get the same scrutiny as them? Of course not. Why and, is that? And pure and simple because he plays for Spurs. Them players are at so, a bigger stage Kane and a bigger gets, spotlight. Gets in my, Kane, 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 gets Kane only gets it from the Twitter guys. Nah, in in, in real it. life, Sky Sports media, they're not hating on Kane. That's big man mm, thing. True. It's, it's more captain. it's more uh, kind of amongst the culture where mm. people are like, uh, Kane, I don't know. They they, they want to see a black striker playing for England type mm. of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <That's a> <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> I'm just saying it is what it is. Mm. But yeah, uh, for me, I, I hear what you're saying from Son. He might not get as much criticism, but I purely think that's the stage is not as big. And the fact that he's kind of the only shining light amongst the shit that is Spurs. It's like, how are you going to diss the one kind of player that's actually doing half decent? But yesterday, in all honesty, I think every player from top to bottom in that team looked poor. And you could see Everton had the better window. As much as I said we need to do smart, shrewd signings, they they signed that midfield core for fifty million. Like Boy. and then so Bele could have been a, easily could be a Spurs type easy of player for about easy. two not even, years. Not even this, exactly. not bench. even this window. It's been previous windows. Bro, with last him. year he was rotting on a Madrid bench. I'm like, yo, why is no one looking at this? So for me, I said this year I want to see ambition and I want to see smart, shrewd signings. So far, we've made two purchases that I think were decent and gonna improve the first team eventually. This is their first game. I'm not gonna mm. overreact. But at the same time, we need to see more into this. The one thing I drilled, you man heard me, I think a thousand episodes last year was saying, yo, we need to get rid of a lot. We need to bring in a lot. We haven't let go of anyone yet mm. this season. We've only released Vertonghen and let Michel Vorm retire. We still have Massive a lot. Massive influence of... in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Huge <laughs> loss. Huge Don't loss. Don't do this. Huge <laughs> loss. It, was like, it was like a morgue when he retired. You see all Brother. the and stuff? Don't do all this. Like <laughs> <loss>. <laughs> he was Deli Ali's big bro. Get have you bro, seen, have you seen Ali without Morgan? I've seen Ali without Morgan. <laughs> <Lyskin, laughs> looking a bit. Boy. All I can say so far, yeah, is yeah. from having watched all or nothing here and seeing your team, yeah, you man might as well get Big G to come and do the the, the halftime team. Talk. Bro, your team talks this are is, lame, bro. This is what I was going to come to as well. And I'm sure Big G will come and do it. Bro, you will that, get your man that's, fired that's up. England's captain, I've seen you know. SC Duns are winning cups. I'm not even lying to you. SC Duns probably got more cups than Spurs. Bro, get him in the change room, bro. Get, behave, he said he needs to behave. behave, behave. <laughs> Listen, they won a cup last week. Listen, Sunday League Cups. Is this all counting now? Cups are cut. Don't do this. You oh, know, <laughs> we'll start counting our Audi cups. Boy, <laughs> shamelessly. Kane's team talks. Come on, boys. Wait, bro. We, we fucking no. need to Let's fucking go. Let's go. Hey. All, all, all I can say. That's what he says. All I can say, yeah. The worst thing was, uh, the worst thing was, I, I watched half an episode of today's one, yeah, and mm -hmm. they, it talks about Harry Winks getting the armband for the first time. <laughs> He's played for the club since he was five. Worse than Harry Kane's team talk. No, listen. These academy boys, I'm sorry. They they got all the passion and can lead by example, mm. but leave you the talking to someone else. Harry this Kane, is one know, thing as Harry well. Winks, when I knew Harry Winks is is not made for the top level. Go on. Is, all right, let alone... Debut? We, we know his ability. We, we know he's not made for top level. But when I, knew, when I saw when Jose was coming and he was like... Oh, what do you think Jose is going to be like? Oh man, he's going to be on us straight away. I've never seen the media this much. I was like, nah, you're not made for this. You're not built for this. You're, you're, not, you're, you're not, not built for it. He, he, was, he was panicking off. Bro, I was like, bro. And, and, and he's won yesterday. Like him and Hoiberg, that, it was just lateral FC. Mm. To the full backs, yeah, to the right back. What do you expect so when you put them two together? Bro, like, I've been saying for how long? We cannot I'm gonna chime in start a now. game with Winks. And I'm sorry, but this is now a new season. And I'm still not seeing it in Don Tell you what. No, I'm going to try. I, I want to try. This might be one thing me and Jose, big man team, might fall over this season. I because End on Bele is, <laughs> I see the ability and that's my guy. And I, all I want is the opportunity, as I've maintained every time. I've heard the presser. You, I sent it to you, man. He's working hard, Jose was saying. He's earning a place in the team. Jose's Let, putting him, him on the, the market. opportunity now. That's what he's doing. I don't want to see no more winks. And the worst thing is, when I'm seeing Dele Alli get hooked because we're not creating enough, don't bring on Sissoko. What the <laughs> fuck? Sissoko Listen. to run around like a headless chicken. Bro, when Jose Listen. wanted to Come get rid on, of man. Memphis, what he did every single week is talk about how fantastic Memphis is at training. Oh, what a player. Even when we let him go, oh my dear, I feel bad letting him go. Yeah. He is such a hard work. Bro, like, yeah. I know what Jose is putting and Dom on the like, market, bro. Them, That's what um, he's doing. And my thing is, is if Jose is saying, I want to get rid of him, cash in. And get the fucking replacements that you need that are actually going to impact the squad. But, well, let's, right let's now, pause here. That midfield is absolutely no creativity, lost. No creativity. No creativity, no creativity whatsoever. There's, there's someone that we need to touch on. And again, it's Deli Ali. We mentioned it here. I think <laughs> we had a conversation when we were saying that we don't think he can play centre mid. Brother. He, in, in, terms of the is, in terms of the second striker position he plays, he's not optimizing it as he used to. Yeah. And realistically, if he was to get a move, he's not going to find that position to play. And so what happens for his career? Oh. I think he's in danger because if you're that person that's there, 
you've got to feed the people in front of you. That's my minimal expectation. I will feed them, make movement from a do something. Yeah. So there's something I need to highlight here. Son has got two goals in the last 10. Lucas has got zero in 16 and none in 21 Shocking. Premier League games. Please please tell me it's assist numbers over the last three years. I think it's like four or five. Um, Bergwin's Shocking. got zero in nine. Um, Ali's got one in, in 14, which is a pen. So it's clear that none of your forwards are scoring apart from Kane. I think that was, I think that was Kane, a Burnley equaliser. And <laughs> no one's creating, but... I don't see Dembele getting um, Dembele getting games. Lo Celso was looking all right, but I see Lo Celso having to do he's dog injured work. Now. He's injured, having yeah. to do dog work. You've got Lamella, and Lamella's just coming to don't, be a hard man. Do not, La- yeah. Lamella that was do not mention a Lamella in mm-hmm. any form of hard creativity. Man. So I look at it and I go, okay, you know what? So how do you rectify this situation? Mm-hmm. You have to get a creative player in. But even if you get a creative player in, based on what signing. we've seen with how Jose can be, some of the creative players that you might want to get are not going to be these mercenaries. So what happens then? It's not even only that. When you look, well, when For you look at when you look at the the players, you just said Son, Lucas, Ali, um, Bergwijn. Bergwijn, yeah, and none of them are delivering. Yeah. And those are all meant to be the sparks. Those are all meant to be the creative players, the ones that are putting in assists, putting in goals. Mm. I've never ever doubted Harry, um, ha- um, Jose Mourinho with a striker. Every striker Jose Mourinho touches will score goals because yeah. Jose will make you feel like you are the killer. You will go and score goals. So Harry Kane will still score goals as yeah. much as he's going to decline, in my opinion. He will score goals. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I have no, I have no doubt about that. But it's always the players around that, the flary players, the ones that need to have a bit of. Lucas for me, he's not good. He's not the standard anyway. But but when you get the when you get the Sons, the Bergwin, Bergwin, I was told he's a great. He's been a great signing, bro. And now I'm hearing he's got no goals in what in nine games. He's the Jose Mourinho. When you have the someone like Jose Mourinho, those it nine takes, games it, has takes it out of them. And look, no, Jose Mourinho, you. wait, Jose Mourinho has been in charge, yeah, of Spurs. All right, let's go. Jose Mourinho has been in charge of Spurs since November, mm-hmm. right? November, that's nearly a year. Okay, we had lockdown, but still, no t- Tottenham fan can tell me what Jose Mourinho is trying to do with that squad. And it's the as you said, you started this whole day with it's the same old Spurs. It shouldn't be that way because I'm going to use examples. You look at Arteta, he's come in. I know what Arteta is already doing. He looked at yeah. he looked at so Arsenal's weakness, too. which is conceding. And Stop yeah, man, that. right now they're still scoring a bit of pretty goals. But first things first, we're not going to concede. Yeah. We're not going to lose silly games. Tottenham are not doing. They're still losing. This is the only job that Jose Mourinho has been at that his record at the moment is under fifty percent. Jose's lowest fifty percent win rate is fifty eight percent, and that's at Man United and his second spell at Chelsea. Mm-hmm. He's lost eleven games in thirty eight matches. Yeah. And one eighteen. Jose's not done anything at Spurs. Bro. Nothing he has done has justified why Pochettino was sacked. He has I've, not I've done always, a thing at Just Spurs to answer so that there quickly, God. one thing that for me, which was, again, I don't want to go too wild of it because it's the first game, but when you have performances like that, it does make you scratch your head and say, but listen, we were told that we have to give him time because he's coming during the middle and whatnot. We've had the whole corona period where it was three months off. We've had a preseason. So I expect... To a certain extent, even if you've got the same players, coaching principles of the defensive element. I know that's what Jose's yeah. bread and butter is. And the thing was, so I don't <laughs> expect. I know it's just one set piece, yeah. but the way it happened in that game, it looked like if they put in four of those set pieces, they would I score think, each nah, one. Even even that's Richarlison had a couple of chances yeah. before that where they kind of carved us open. But for me, it's I, I I'll never expect pretty football, so I'll never expect it. But I do hear what you're saying. There should be certain principles in place and things mm-hmm. like that. For me, and and as I said, I've said it even last year, this will be the season where kind of Jose is actually judged on. Because as you said, he's had the preseason, he's had everything. Mm. And I said last year, he comes back with the same group of players and says, they're my guys, i.e. the Moras, Mm. the Winks, the Sissokos. You keep pursuing and insisting with those guys, you're going to die with those guys. I'm telling you now. So for me, it's a thing where he needs to start realising fast who are the guys he can rely on. And it's not just the workhorse merchants mm-hmm. now nah, you understand you need to understand you need some creativity in there as well sometimes mm-hmm. so it is it's a, for me and i think i've seen a lot of things that jose i've seen improvements in that he's learned from his united mm-hmm. spell or whatever but i need to see more of that as well i'm not yeah. gonna lie yeah. uh, when you look uh, as i said over over 100 We've, games at all these other clubs mm-hmm. yeah yeah, at United, he lost 28 games. He's already lost 11 games in his first 38, With, I think. The and one, the thing is, the one gonna, by, one, the one one by thing, thing I'll give him. I would injuries. say is, it's not even only that, yeah. Like, uh, even if we're trying to say Jose is a defensive manager and, yeah. and whatever, I, as I said, I look at Arsenal. Arsenal look more defensive, compact. I look at Arsenal, I'm like, okay, they're trying to They've be a defensive been given team. Instructions that's gonna, at least, I don't yeah. look at Spurs and think, I look at Jose under Chel- at Chelsea into Milan. 
United at some points, I look at it like, okay, he's mad defensive at this yeah. point. I don't look at this Spurs team and think, I think they're setting up it comes, to be defensive. It comes back, just for me, it comes back to the poor. same old thing. When you're trying to be defensive and counter-attacking and absorbing those attacks, I don't think this Tottenham defence can absorb any attacks. I think when they start getting that pressure, they start crumbling immediately. Mm. Whether that be Ben Davis, Eric Dyer, Davidson Sanchez. Is Aurier, that mentality? It's 100% it's a but mentality. Jonesy doesn't coach and I think football, he coaches your mind. He, 100% I agree with that. that. And I think that's the, that's the blocking point with these Spurs players. It's The one thing even throughout this documentary you're seeing him drill is mentality, mentality, mentality. I don't know whether these players are up to the kind of Jose At some task point, mentality. you play football. You can't just keep mentality. Yeah, you know I mean, at some point, but look, it's at the end of the day, though, it is true. But the thing is, for first... me, I, I, I'm seeing it as right now. It's it's the first game of the season. Mm -hmm. We've got, I think, every three days we've got a game. So this squad kind of has a quick opportunity to turn this around. So for me, it's one of them things where they can't get too wrapped up in. Oh, all right, we lost the opening game. Things have gone yeah. to shit type. Turn my, it around quick. My Listen. only thing with Spurs, just to my only thing with Spurs is that. Only thing you're not your your chairman and that are not gonna support, that, Bro. And, and that's and that and that's the fact. What read the jo what Jose read yeah, out today. what Jose is gonna have to work with is not gonna be great. So that's the thing you're gonna have to improve the the bog standard that you do have through coaching. Good and luck. I don't think it's gonna come. I remember there was a point when we spoke last season. I was saying this stadium is going to be peak for Spurs. Every Bro, Spurs fan was telling me, but we I've... came out with good revenue. I said the exact Not same. Me. I said the exact same example that Arsene Wenger went through with with Arsenal at Emirates. Yeah. No matter what anyone wants to say about Wenger and banter him, Emirates Stadium affected Arsenal massively. Being able to get players in, replace the Vieiras, when on goes, it affected. And Spurs, who are not as big as a club. Wenger was smart enough you to guys. win trophies you, before he did. It's going to kill you guys. <laughs> well, Trust. he was able what? to maintain a standard, which Bruh. was get Champions League, of course. But I mean, all of this talks about Spurs is sick, but Everton balled out. I don't care what anyone Bro, says. Like, balled out. Hammers. Hammers. Hammers Rodriguez, Hammers we have Rodriguez. to address it. He Bruh. was a potential nominee for Champ of the Week. But there's someone else I have to give that to you. But Hammers. That's what you call, that's what you call a footballer. And, and the thing is, yeah, he, shouldn't, is, he should not is, be at Everton. Let's call a spade a spade. My thing is, is even if you look at how those two teams are approached the summer, Everton last year had a midfield of Sigurdsson, what was it, Tom Davis and Schneiderlin. Or before you even say that, before they you even said, say that, they, they brought said, Iwobi initially to play Cam. Exactly. But they said that midfield area is a problem. We're going to address that this summer. Yep. 50 million was all it took to get three quality players like that. Mm -hmm. and now they're looking like, oh, they can dominate a game. <laughs> and meanwhile, we're sat there like, no, no, it's cool, it's cool. We'll, 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 we're not sure what we're going to do with Ndombele. Yeah. And we'll keep trying to force Ali into Soko. Yeah, and Ndombele, it, for three it years. was so obvious this is going to happen. Though. And it's, it was obvious it's going to happen. <laughs> but you see with Hammers, though, like when you when you got a player like Hammers, it's all about is he going to be able to do... I've said many times... He yeah. did not do as bad as people are making out at the, at these other clubs. He was good at Real Madrid. Bayern didn't get the good as well. he, At one point, he was the midfielder of the year in the La Liga. Yeah. Bayern, he put down decent numbers. Mm. It's just about, he's a number 10, which is a dying, which is a dying trait. It's a dying and he dying can't play trait. center mid. But now you've got a manager who, who trusts you. He's going to put you on the right, but pretty much just say, You're go and do whatever you want to do. Freedom. And that is exactly what he needs. At Bayern, you can't demand that. At, mm. at, at Real Madrid, you can't demand that. That's he's now the big fish. About he's now the big fish. You're talking about footballers in this country. Technical he's way up there. Yeah. You're talking about who's a great footballer. He's way up there. The one, way up there the in the Premier League. one thing with Everton, and again, they look like a surprising package. They could be someone that, again, your Tottenham, Arsenal, Wolves, all of those people in that space, it's interesting. We should be worried, big man thing. Of course, but... One thing about Everton is we need to see how the season goes because when you've got a baller like that, it can very quickly turn to hero ball where it's like, oh, just get the ball to him. Like, Bro, that, oh, but that's, gonna, that, let's be honest. That, that, a sick throughout thing to that have, game, it was past the hammers no, and inshallah. No, let, let, let's see. There was good <laughs> passages of play, but let's see how it goes because it can get to a point where literally they, they, their tactic will turn, listen, we can't break this down, just get yeah. the ball to him. That's not we bad have to wait until ball, You see with these type of players, players like hammers and stuff, it'll be all good now. We have to wait and see. I was going to say, when when the big fixtures come, and, with, and the run of pictures, can he keep players. up that, that yeah, kind of same be, tempo? He has, he has the potential to be one of these guys that's a key, that a, a yeah. stick out signing yeah. this season. But, but listen, Everton are notoriously a proper fraud club. A nothing proper club, pretenders. they say. So <laughs> a nothing see. club. Let's see. Now listen, really. that's them. Another one before we go into Chelsea, let's talk about the champions. Mm, I don't like mm. the ring to that. I don't like the ring to that. Champion. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you say you're not feeling it? Not feeling that, man. Let's talk. <laughs> Where to start? Mo Salah? Doing it as... as doing Excellent pick, finish. Bro, Mo Salah. Picking up where he picks up. 
easily. Listen, I'm going to say it now. Easily. I've seen other podcasts talk about Salah. I've seen other people say about Salah, he's overrated. Is this? I'm sorry. He's easily the most disrespected player in the Premier League. Easily. This brother is not going to stop putting up numbers. Any agenda anyone has against <laughs> Mo Salah, you've lost. He's won. Yeah. He's come to this country. He won the Prem. He won the Player of the Year. He's won two Golden Boots. He's closing on 100 goals for Liverpool. He won the Champions League. He's got the Premier League scoring record. There's nothing you can say to Mo Salah. Yeah, he doesn't look pretty sometimes. Yeah, you know, he doesn't dribble enough and, and that. But that's the way wingers are. I'm sorry. I can't. It doesn't sit right with me that I see people praising Mane praising Sterling, praising for doing exactly what Mo Salah does. And he does it at a much more efficient and higher more scoring consistent. rate. Yeah. You, uh, um, you're just being biased in that case. Yeah, you may think Mane is a better footballer. He probably is. Mane is probably technically a better footballer than Mane, um, than Salah. But Salah has come and done everything Liverpool have needed him to do. But Literally. he's disrespected. If you talk to any Liverpool fan, Carragher's and all these guys in the media, Why is that, they're pushing this thing where it's like, if one of them has to go, it has to be Mane. Are you, I'm, I'm, so, am I seeing that Bobby Firmino brother walking up there? You mean I'm Salah? sorry, Salah. Yeah. Am I seeing that Bobby Firmino guy just stinking up every fucking chance that he gets? <laughs> it, it's, it's, I, it's love honestly, Bobby, I don't man. know what the agenda. <laughs> I don't know what this he's worldwide agenda is me. against salaries, but yeah. it, it, for me, it, it's ridiculous because the numbers do not lie so. yeah you can you can say is he as good as the hazards and the perez and all these guys that you that's up to you that's subjective but the proof's in the puds he has destroyed english football Listen, the, there's no talk there's the way, no talk the way i see it and it annoys me because everyone always talks about ability 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 yeah but there's application this guy's come in and he is he just scores goals for fun and before he came it was kind of like oh he's scoring goals in italy can you do it here he's done it here Oh, but it doesn't look pretty. I don't know. There, there's always a but with mm -hmm. Salah, and I don't understand why. Because usually, when it's someone scoring goals in a different league, they can't do that in Premier League. Well, I've proven that. I've won how many golden boots? Is it two? He's got two. Two. Probably yeah. gonna potentially on if you put three down first day, you want to win a third one. He looks like he's hungry. He's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Like there's no reason why there has to be like but this, but this, but this. You come in, you do your job, you go home, you win titles. At the no, end of 100%. the day, like the guy is a killer. And if you have to look at his progression as a footballer, you need to give this guy credit. You know, he, this he guy used to be that. He wanted to be a tricky winger. Yeah, he was getting pushed off the ball and that. Mm -hmm. Now he's turned into you know what? Get the ball, bang. And the this. thing is, when he won the Champions League, it's not even like Liverpool. It's not even like Salah was just average in time. He scored ten goals. He was. He was. He scored ten goals. He's in done. The, in the he's done it at every Champions level. League. In, in that, in that opinion, season, yeah. he scored ten he's, goals and one. He's, and he's literally one of. I. I would say right now, one of the greatest players in the Premier League history. He, he should be up there in the argument, in my opinion. He's. He's making a case for. By the time he leaves. He's going to be right up there in the conversation for me. But for, uh, in yesterday's game as well... What type of conversation? Thought, Just so because, you know, people will be like, oh my God, you're... We, well, he's kind of... This winger forward position now, mm -hmm. it's only coming like the last five years, but I would say he's kind of up there, probably the best, I would say, winger forward, forward that we've kind of seen, yeah, in the I Premier League. Still have, I would still have... Uh, probably I'll have Hazard of Bavin Ronaldo. The big, the big, I think, I still have I think, the I think one is Bell. That one's that one that everyone talks about is Bell. I think, look, I think right, look, in Gareth my opinion, Bell, he's past look, Hazard. For me, okay, I, I don't know about passing Hazard. If he's past Hazard, then he's there for basket Bell. But for me, yeah, yeah. with Bell, Bell had one, Bale, one or two seasons. The thing about Bell, he's got two pair of the years, right? For mm -hmm. me, one of them he definitely didn't deserve, but we moved from that. With Bell, he was different. Bell as a player, I'm sorry, Prime Bell, Salah's not chatting to him. Let's establish if we're that. In my opinion, I'm just talking about the the career. The career in the yeah. Premier League, in my opinion, you're looking into other things too much. If you try and say Bale has outdone Bro. Salah, Salah, come it's on. crazy. The numbers, it's crazy. the title. Bale hasn't got a title. I know people are gonna say Spurs, but, but these things hold weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like, and guys come in and broke the Premier League with scoring record. Like Bale's highest tally was what 21 that season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. I know. I know. There's great goals and everything he scored. Mm -hmm. And listen, I love Bale. I'm the biggest like. Bale Merchant. I, I'd still have him back today if I could. But you think you the thing is you can remember Bale. Like I can sit here and remember yeah. five Bale screamers. Yeah. So that instantly just makes you like oh, Bale, Yeah, yeah. It's got, but for him, me, yeah. as I said, Prime Bale is better than Salah. But if we're talking me, about what every, they've done in the but Prime Bale was in Real Madrid. Uh, okay, it started at Spurs. Uh, I, I started think his last season at Spurs. That ascendancy. Yeah, it started at Spurs. It, he won. As, I he think won he won at Madrid, then. but I think that last season at Spurs was actually his best individual season. It's similar to what people would say about Ronaldo like Ronaldo 
um, at Madrid was clear. Mm -hmm. But that period of Madrid um, at United, where it was like, oh my God, what yeah. are we seeing? People still hold that. But people are talking weight. like Bale did Ronaldo stuff. Bell did not he do Ronaldo no, stuff. That's uh, people are going he on. He was like, just the closest like, thing. But if you look yeah, at Ronaldo, if you look yeah, at Salah, but people are going on like Salah can't chat to Bell as if he's Ronaldo. He, he's not. No, like no, no, Bell no, didn't do what Ronaldo did. But for me, it's, it's numbers, weird because with Salah, it's, it's, he's if one you look of them at players. Numbers, I think he's closest to that level. Well, if we're talking about numbers, there's not many people that I can chat to. Bro, he's got numbers like strikers with Liverpool. But nowadays, with Liverpool as a whole, anyway. So in that game yesterday, for me. Again, he was the only one I felt was actually looking lively. And I know he scored the two penalties, but that was it the second goal? He got the, oh, he banged it. Rock it, bro. Touched yeah. the right foot, smacked yeah. the left foot. But I thought yesterday, in that Liverpool team now, they're not looking stale, but not freshening up for two summers now. It's starting to be very, very visible in that team. Like When a Leeds team who's just come up and, I'm sorry, but I don't know half the players on their team, and, I'm looking, and they're giving you trouble. Like this, Leeds are Bro, letting. I don't want champ. You know what? Liverpool football. are letting. He he <laughs> Bill Sarr is gonna surprise you. Liverpool are letting. I'm telling MLS. you now. MLS. I'm gonna surprise you. I'll be real to you. I'll make another picks. season prediction and say, listen, Leeds will be this season's <laughs> Norwich. <laughs> yeah? listen, Leeds listen. will be this season's Norwich. Listen, I think. Nah, no, 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 they won't. No, no, Leeds are staying up. Leeds are staying up. People like the manager. Leeds are staying up. I've who's who's going to score their goals? Should be at, it, Bills, who's going to score anything, their goals? You lot should be looking at Bills for me. If, have you seen Rodrigo's record? If you think he's going to he bag service. 20 in the Premier no, League. I reckon, it's not about... But the thing is, them teams, don't you don't need a 20-goal season goals, striker. You said you don't know who's going to score their goals. They just scored they three. They scored three at, against at, champions. At flipping yeah. Anfield. Was well, it Anfield? When Liverpool are gifting them to you, you can do that. Yeah, well, who was gifting them? Van Dijk. Van Dijk, Trent, Joe Gomez. Take your pick. All I can say, they were all gifted them. I want to address a few things. And I've got Alisson as my FPL. I made him... I almost made him captain, but I never. But listen. I want to address a few things. First and foremost, people chat rubbish on MLS and all these type of football, but Leeds are, um, Liverpool are in the MLS first draft pick. MLS all-star, hey, come. Man City agent, <laughs> Man City agent, come and score screamers. I no, just think that's poetic. That's amazing. That was a good but goal, though. What it was good a really goal. good goal. The way, really good goal. The way you made well, Trent and Gomez look clownish. clownish. He's, a, he's a United... Um, yeah, he's United still. boy. But one thing I, I wanted you, to address was... the best was, academy in the world. If you look... We produce just... If you look at We've Liverpool, got so many talents out there. you just give crap to the rest of the league, bro. But <laughs> Boy, I, the league I don't want to. I don't want to call it. Harrison. I don't want to call it off a first game, but I look very similar to what happened with City, right? If you look at City's last three seasons, right? So let's say what was it? 2017, 18, 100 points. Next season you go to what? 98. 98 next season, 81. For mm -hmm. me, what that represents is it's hard. That's your guy. That level of consistency. It's, it's hard crazy. to constantly do that. And the thing is, they even tried to add a few additions, right? Liverpool have not added anything. Bro. So let's look at Minimino. Liverpool, right? That's all Liverpool, 75 points. They then went to what? Harvey Elliott. 97, racist. missed out in the league by one point, yeah? Next season after that, 99. Oh, if I look at this team this year, I'm not looking at any additions. I'm looking at a team that people know, you know what? We're not really scared of you. I'm looking at the way that the Anfield factor of the fans, let's be real, because that is a not factor, there. is not there anymore. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at Van Dijk first game out the gate doing that. I'm looking at Gomez, who Gomez is someone that's spoken highly about, but Why? I can see a catalog of Why? mistakes that he makes now. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Why? I'm looking at the South midfield. London. I'm looking at Bobby Firmino, who doesn't look like he's still going to score goals. I can see them potentially having that same fall where they, from 99, they could drop 10 to 12 to 15 points this season. It's, uh, I'm, I can so see it. To be able I, to, I can see it. Listen, the re there's a reason why only one team and only one gaffer has done the free peak. And when he done the free peak, yeah, it, it's the facts only. I'm sorry, guys. There's only one re there's only one club and only one manager who's done a three peak. And do you know, what do we always say about Ferguson? He adapts. He knows Ferguson will sell his best player if it means if it means he he needs to to yeah. change the team. That's the thing. Look at City, as you're talking about. Look at City. When Mancini won the league, didn't really strengthen. They didn't win the league the next year. Look at Pellegrini, did the same. Pep come in, what a great manager. He's done his thing. But three seasons, as you're saying, it's hard to maintain. It's not easy. I'm sorry, Jose, you couldn't do it either. Chelsea, this great team, 05 and that. 07, you weren't, you weren't out here. The thing is, we said It's, it's, we it's, said it's last not year, easy to maintain that level. 100%. And we said last year, like teams were starting to almost figure out their system is to just go down the flanks and... Mane, Salah, and kind of just go from there. It's like they haven't added that Thiago layer that we were saying over the summer. Mm -hmm. This is what would push them over. They're haggling for 30 million. Mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, a club FSG of your size. Who, to be fed. Like, especially are. when FFP have kind of been eased and you've just mm -hmm. won the Champions League, the league, you've seen how hard it is to maintain the success. 
personally, I still think they'll win the league because I don't think there's anyone around them to catch them up. Mm, I think Chelsea will, will City look like some pretenders. I don't trust City. They've only added what? Um, Ferran Torres and, yeah, and who's Ake. the other kid? Your boy. I, yeah. I, I, well, Your boy Ake. Uh, Ake, yeah, that's I, it. I disagree but I mean, there, but we're going to that later. That's not exactly mm. going to... Tell you what, let's part Is that, that really what's going to let you catch let's, up to Liverpool? Let's talk about him like he's flipping. I like Ake. Let's part that, yeah. that, that, that for now because yeah. obviously but, you we're going to go we're going to go into where we think everyone's going to lead. You mentioned Chelsea, so that's a good segue to talk about Chelsea. The performance wasn't great, but the points were there and I think the big thing for a lot of Chelsea fans was what on earth was this thing? Brother. You only spent money and everyone's getting gas in it. And you look at the team. I hope you lot still got the receipt. Like, after one game. Is that, is that what we're doing after saying, one game? Just keep receipt the receipt of what? Okay, keep your receipt for Hoberg as well. Of course. Use that young change. Go and, buy, go and buy someone Brother. else. Get no, but 15 mil is a, long, a lot for you, man, isn't it? The stadium and that. Trust me, we got the key. We can, we can see the team. <laughs> I can't even. Exactly. I, I so can't even. Man, can't be telling you about receipts when they're, they're trying to. How good uh, was the receipt even for though? They're saying what? Because of um. I was hearing German general, Shepherd about I was who? hearing German about, Shepherd um, was generational. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. The generational German. Oh, look, the thing is, gen- let's me. let's start with this. James this Charles. Gen- <laughs> generational people need to stop this like people need to stop putting generational people because you're going to kill people's careers right? you're going to kill people with Havertz his performance today wasn't great and what it what mm-hmm. it highlighted mm-hmm. for me was what a lot of people have been saying up front mm-hmm. what? what's that 200 million talent up front Havertz was what 150 million and it, and, what's, and what's the man them saying? Andrew, Don't yeah. turn the camera for me. That's some steroids. <laughs> 150 million, 600k 600 as well, innit? 120 million. 600k as well, innit? All of these figures are wrong. It's 400, I think. All of these figures are wrong, but anyway. <laughs> let's stick, let's stick no to knowledge, the facts. No knowledge, just vibes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, stick to the, let's stick to the facts. Go. But um, yeah, not his, not a great performance, but it's the first one in. I can't think you can judge a player off no. the first performance. But Listen. for me, what, what I took from it was with him and Werner and Werner going wide and him coming in the middle, like I said last season, I'm going to need Frank Lampard to step into the light this year because if that keeps happening, they may get to a situation where it's not popping. I need to understand, he needs to inf- influence it in a way that he gets the best out of both of them because when you add ZH that as well, ah. that's a lot of people moving around now and you have to be mouth. very, you have to be very careful because it can work or it can just crash. I think that's so, when you unlock that front line for I me when ZH is there still for me I looked at, I looked at the team that's still Pulisic I looked at the team today and I was like you know what for me of all those guys I just can't wait to see ZH because there's still no creativity really in that midfield is, there's no one that's going to break bro. a line there's no one that's going to do something and it's like oh my gosh the reverse pass was amazing Werner worked his socks off and it was very encouraging even the the, the penalty if Jorginho plays that ball through, Giroud is amazing, but he hasn't got the legs to, no, to do that. 100%, yeah. Tammy Abraham's going to fall over. Let's be realistic. So, and be all nice. <laughs> like, I respect that um, the performance wasn't great. I, I've got to respect Brighton. They did a really good Bro, performance. Yeah. That, Any the scoreline don't reflect it. Doesn't it doesn't reflect. Any other day, that could be a different game. But, I mean, that Listen, shows Lamptey. you have to win the games. Respect Lamptey. I've always respected he him. He came, came back with here. a chip on his shoulder. No, but bruv. he yes, was like, Lamptey's listen, hard. for me, you, lot, not... you lot are picking heavyweight poet over me. Nah. <laughs> this guy's so And dumb. then Reese James came. <laughs> and then what did he Banger. do? He, he said, that loud as Lamptey talk. He said, hold but this. Yeah. And then got the, an assist. Am I right for the second yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, well, with it, the, yeah. well, if if it counted for Zima's goal, it's assist. What with with the Lamptey thing, what you have to realise is this is a very good baller. And the reason why I have to respect him is because he said, you know what? If you're going to bank on that guy, I'm not going to be one of these guys. I'm not, I'm going to call it out. I'm not going to be a loft of shit just sitting here waiting for it to happen. Bro, I'm going to go out there and make you. it pop. And when he, went, million. when he left, when he left, bro, bro listen. And my club bought wan for 50. <laughs> listen, hey, when he don't left, don't do that to yourself. Let me, let me be real. When he left, <laughs> I'm when like, he real food to court, court, you know, that's, that's food when for When he left to Brighton, you can go and check it. That's Almost Ford every single match, man of the match performance. Man of the match performance. He went there and he put it up. And the thing is, if he keeps going like that, you think, they, you think, you, but by January they're not no, going to no, be no, thinking no, no, you know no. what Listen, moving no, on like the, mm. the Fair form will level out eventually but for me it's the fact that he what you see the Arsenal game Yeah, he was not even meant to play am I right and he was hard he came he was on hard. he came on as the game after that injured. the three games he played for Chelsea Bro, was hard how man made a career off that Mm-hmm. Most men get a whole season, season and a half. Me, and for me, dog. again, mm-hmm. Harry Winks is still trying to prove himself. He's six years into his career. Nah, mm-hmm. listen. The, <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? But this is why it's it's different Respect strokes the kid, man. for different folks. And again, like he's one of them guys. He knew his worth. He said, "Listen, I can't sit here and be second fiddle. I know I've got ability. Hold tight his team around him as well, because that would have been a hard decision to make." Mm-hmm. Boom, went out there, man of the match. Almost every single part of the of the latter end of the season. Sister, you're that coming goal was in, well, yeah. Just you're just booming out. The one out. thing is Chelsea are gonna need, yeah. We've we've I, I'm interested to see how Werner's gonna be at Chelsea because 
the way you you spoke about, you said he worked hard. And that just sounds like, and the way I look at it sometimes, he's like Vardy. He's like a German Vardy. Bro. He's like off the ball. He runs, he just, he runs <laughs> around and stuff. Yeah. Not really that great technically. And when you look at the players that Chelsea are going to amass, Pulisic, um, Ziyech, Ziyech. You, got, you might need someone that you can get the ball into their feet and make things happen. It might nah, not always going to be counter football. You see that man over there? there? You see this man over there? Didier Drogba? That would have been a perfect striker for the play. Nah, for, the, for, for what Chelsea are amassing? With Perfect shot, but you see, what, Werner, what else, I'll, I, I, the thing with Werner, I'm, I'm looking. I think he'll score goals, that's but I, I think, think he's gonna get. I, I think, think he's gonna frustrate. Personally, I think his style of play, play. his style of play, I think, play, I think perfectly I think. suits the Premier. In all honesty, I yeah. think his direct running, <clears throat> I think he's built for that. The only thing is, I think because he's been playing out wide for so many years at Leipzig, it's now gonna be a little bit of an adaptation. And I'm not dissing the Bundesliga, but, but the Bundesliga naturally play a lot higher in the Premier League. For me, there's two things. The one thing, let's not act like they don't do that as well. No, but Bundesliga. How high was Leeds? The other day. Nah, but yeah, but these, are, is, these are come with European. No, but they're, they're, they're man marking, they're man marking, pushing up. But what right. I would say with Werner, the one thing that I was worried about, and I, I don't know if I said it here before, is it for me, it's that Salah effect. And with Salah, the one thing I always say is he scores loads of goals, and then but he he's shooting a lot, yeah. and sometimes he's missing, and you get frustrated, but he still scores goals. I've seen that a lot with Werner, I've seen him miss the easy chance. and if ZH isn't playing all the time and you're not getting that service, when you get that chance, you've got to bury it. That's what I was bollocking Abraham about mm. all season last season, where it's like, bro, you're getting things on the plate. And, he, and, and banging you're his missing. face off the mic. Fam, I'm, 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 I'm passionate. <laughs> I'm passionate. <laughs> but that, for me, I think he's going to come good. One thing I'll say as well is, Who listen. Of, of all your signs. One second, one second. For me, Listen, you've got to be taking a pin off Jorginho. Like, you're not going to get 20 bro, goals you given... Well. Nah. You're not going to get 20 goals given, given the ball to Jorginho. You need, nah, for me, he's the no, for, no, take no, 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 for me... If you're a number nine, you, you've got to you, take ownership you, of that, but man. But for me personally, first first game, get, get your account get up. Get that confidence up. You're not going to get 20 goals giving pens away to Jorginho. I don't really agree with that. Rashford potentially, is bag in 16. No, let me be real. Jorginho may potentially not be at the club at the end of October. There's no Dude. time for parting gifts. But he's the you've penalty taker. No, for That's me, you've got to I remember the last, <laughs> you've got to remember the last Jorginho time. Jorginho ain't getting nowhere. Remember no, the last time people were wrestling at Chelsea for penalties and then Barkley stepped up against Valencia and No, missed. but Barkley shouldn't Listen, be taking penalties. Listen, just let penalty. the penalty There's taker take it. Barkley boy. should not be taking penalties. But for me, you know what? It's good to start the season with a win. Um, who is when you, Ram- hey, you see this huh? energy. Remember when Rashford took the penalty off off Pogba missed, and then they started shouting at him. Now Werner should be taking penalties off guys. Listen, no, 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 all I'm saying, no all I'm saying is, is no as justice a in this world. As a number nine. I'm not God. saying no justice in this world. It was, it, it was worldwide <laughs> no, news. It was worldwide just, news no, no, when no. Rashford did it, just, and now we're saying, oh no, 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 <laughs> Werner should be doing it. No, no, no. Let the penalty taker take the penalty, please. Thank you very much, bro. as a striker, as a number nine, you should take only. In school, oh, is it? So, what that's all I'm saying. With Rash? Kane does it, Rashford does it. They were saying he's selfish. Oh, Rashford's thinking about himself. And then Rashford let me. Bruno come in, and two days later, he was yeah, giving up. Better, better penalty taker. He's let the better penalty taker take Listen, penalty. all I'm going to say is you want a pen, it's your debut. Mm. You yeah. want a pen. That's why Sancho is going to come and take his shit. The better penalty taker. Listen, what are you going to ask me? Enjoy the number 10. What are you going to ask me? Keep hitting disabled kids in the stand. Wow. This guy with his wild free kicks. Wild. Bro. Hey, we live, baby. We live. We we like. Like. <laughs> the team. <laughs> ask you, what are you gonna ask me? I was gonna ask you. Of all aye, your signings, aye, who, of all your signings who do you think is gonna bang the most? Because you've made for quite me, a for number. For me, for me, I, I, there's I a lot of big names me, in there. For me, it's Ziyech. But you know what? There's something I have to address. Right. One of the goals we conceded today. For me, Kepa should be getting a hand to it. Hey. And I mentioned, you know, I mentioned C at Liverpool earlier. Yo, that Mendy guy yeah, doesn't look any better. <laughs> Listen, he scares me. I've seen clips. And the thing hey, is, I yeah, love it. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out it. I can't say that, you know what, I know about it and whatnot. But for when I've seen clips, he's saving motion is that the pro club's goalkeeper. Like, you know, when you're controlling the pro club, <laughs> <and it's> like, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't fill me with confidence. That's and for me, delay. We, need, we need a goalkeeper that's going to fill the back four with confidence, that's going to command the area. But most importantly, when you look at City and Liverpool, what did they do? He came and he saw bro. He said, listen, this isn't for me. Get out of here. Came and saw, was it Karius? This isn't for me. Get out of here. And they signed keepers that they believe... The difference is you spent more on your level. keeper than they did on no, theirs. No, of course. And this is the Don't issue with Chelsea. They got him on a free got bought for 75 this million. This is what I just... Chelsea fans, listen, we're getting many here. But listen, do not be surprised if Kepa keeps starting. You cannot sign a player for 70-something million and say, no, we're going to be done with that. I don't care if you think we've got all the money in the world. Don't be surprised if you keep seeing Kepa. But for me, that w- that is the difference between in this project we're trying to build, 
that no could project. be a Chelsea block. this season think, must deliver. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm no, sorry. Me, I'm sorry. This, this is very reminiscent. This is very reminiscent of when Jose first came in or when Abramovich first the came horse. in and you started signing. No, not even the little oh. horse, the initial time. And you started signing Drogba's checks and all these type of players. This is what this I was is, gonna say. This is like part two. Of, of that Thiago kind of like yeah, new I'm not like hearing no project Chelsea deliver deliver this season fact, yeah, fact. Like deliver. and this no, for me no I've always said it in terms of Chelsea Chelsea's minimum expectation every season is you have to be winning a trophy you Lovely. have to be winning the trophy you have to Facts. that's bread and butter if we're talking that's, about Liverpool just, if we're talking about Liverpool are not going to be the same and we're talking about Man City are not going to be the same. They're the ones that should capitalize. Who are the team that should... It should be 100%, Chelsea. Yeah. You have addressed yeah, every single problem area so far and you're still in the market for a keeper and you're still in the market... I want to get his thoughts on that as well, though. Um, There's um, no excuses. Do you think like your defence last year was arguably your biggest weak point? And now yes. you've brought in what? Thiago Silva, who's meant to be like the footballing legend. is And, and then you've got Chilwell, who's England's next best hope at left back. <laughs> Do Good. you think that's enough to plug the gaps? It defensively, because I look at because I look at Zuma, no, but Zuma but the thing is, I look because I look at no no no, but here's <laughs> right, I, right, right, well. I, no, hey, I look at Chilwell and I yeah. see. Like Alonso, the one good thing he has is going forward. Yeah. Defensively, he gets killed. Yeah. Chilwell is similar. Going forward, he's brilliant. Defensively, not that great. I said, what did so I say? I'm like the first thing I said to you was when we signed Chilwell. You know what? I can support the signing, but I've always worried about him, especially when I've seen him playing big games. In big games, I've seen him eat grass I've seen him look disgruntled yeah, yeah. and Chelsea we, we play a lot of big games and we have to win those big games so that's why for me now, for yeah. me it's like I ha- I was always uneasy with it and I've made it public uneasy with it with the Thiago Silva one that one again like 36 30, he's turning 36 for me we can, we one can. of the main things about all of this, right, is forget about the actual defending. Again, as I said, Frank Lampard has to step into that this season with me. It's about the actual defending, as in set pieces. We can last year we conceded the like second most long shots and conceded the second most from from set pieces. Yeah, that isn't just about your personnel. That's about what you're coaching them to do. Yeah, like like he said about with Arteta, um, Arsenal looks bad defensively. What was the first thing he did? Shore it up. There's certain principles that I need to put in to make sure that these guys stop conceding. We can have all the goal scorers in the world, but this isn't like galactic 100%. football where it's score 10 and concede seven. That's not sustainable. So for me, centre back unit, yeah. We, we, as a team, we have to defend better as a team, and that comes through just coaching. So, boy. You're saying tactically, defensively, you Tactically, need to we have to be better, and individual, and individuals like, have we to have step to be, up that as well. has to be there. But again, for me. Rudiger needs to go up. Massively, this really year. Rudiger's season he last needs a season was a, year. That's what he needs. His season year. last year was bad, and again, that's supposed to be. Zuma's our a, looking like he might take a spot this year as well. Rudiger was supposed to be our A centre back, mm-hmm. and he didn't perform. Now Zuma's getting a chance. Christensen's getting a chance. For me, I don't see Zuma as an A centre back. I, he wins challenges in the event, but for me, he's not A centre back. Thiago Silva's an A centre back, but would you play Thiago Silva? And Zuma, can Thiago Silva play every single game? I don't know. It's yet to be seen. Thiago Silva Silva made Kimpembe into a half decent and he was pretty rash. Again, this is like, this is, it's a good point, but this is, Prem is pre- it's the Premier League. Again, we don't we don't know what's gonna happen. What My key thing is, there's a Chelsea have a lot of upside. I've already said that I would like us to finish second. I think it's possible. I think with the points that I believe Liverpool that can, can drop and the points we can gain, it's possible. But that only comes with the upside being fulfilled and us actually learning how to defend mm. as a team. Yeah. When I was watching the set pieces there, I was still watching set pieces like. From last year, yeah. For me, that's not a good. That's not a good sign yeah. to start with. If it's the first Chelsea game of the season and I'm watching set pieces and I'm seeing Kepa come and go, yeah. Already, same I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah. Ooh. like corners. You lot just like, always Ooh. look like a weakness. And yeah. bear in mind, Brighton didn't have the biggest forwards. It's their centre half. Was it more pay? Yeah, more pay and Connolly. So for me, if only Glenn Murray was there to shit so, house so today, bro. For me, again, as the season goes on, this team is gonna develop with the new signings coming in, but. Again, Frank Lampard. I big you. I big you up last year. year. This season, I need you to step into the light. You said all of this stuff in the press conference. I need you to step into the light. Remember, man is saying all of this. Out of the dark. Remember, man is saying all this because if it don't start crashing and I'm hearing man start defending lamps and that. No, no, I'm being. I'm being real because I remember this is the thing with Arteta. The one thing again, like for me, Arteta came in. He looks good. People punk Arteta up here, but don't get me wrong, he came in and he's installed something early on. That's fair to say, right? Is that not fair to say? I just need I need Lampard to step into that. Not just because he's a club legend, like you have to now. Yeah. There's we can't li- lie on the finger of oh we didn't have the transfer window or oh we didn't have long enough to improve it. 
all of the the safe bets. And even gone he's now. been talking that tough talk that's in the media. Saying. He's been talking, talking stick. about. That's Listen, we're not trying to be a developing club. Uh, so now, now we're trying to be elite. Cool. For me, let me see some silverware now. Good start to start um, the season off, but listen, it's going to be a tough season. And on that note, we mentioned people are up there. Who do we think is going to win the the, hmm. the season? Who do you think is going to win the title? You're saying I don't know. I'm not. I'm I've not under prediction. I'm I don't I predict it. I, right I believe now. City just because. City. The reason I say it because they've lost Sane and Silva. I hear you, but based on what I said about Have that free season thing, based on what I said about that free season thing, where after that third season, if Liverpool are not making those signings, I think it's hard for them. I think just the hunger of Guardiola, let's be real, being disgraced, not, disgrace might be harsh, but I'm going to use it. Disgraced last season, I think he's going to want that hunger to, you know what, listen, yeah. we need to show something. Because the thing, the core of the team is still pretty much the same. The same Who's that? Team. Liverpool City? Um, see, yeah, like that. They're, they're well, they're gonna have Foden instead of Silver. Silver was underwhelming last season, but again, got can, if you the year. for me, if you keep, <laughs> if you keep, listen, we're going to. If you can keep Aguero fit, if you if that's you can get the, Sterling, he's not staying fit. If you can get Sterling, if you can get Sterling where Sterling needs to be, like, if you can just defend better as a team, they still haven't signed the imaginary Koulibaly. Well, if K- that or if KDB thinking. could control midfields. It <laughs> might help. Listen, uh, it might help. KDB, it player of the help. season again. Remember I told you. Watch no, your that'd be interesting. <laughs> Watch your Remember I told you. That's and a what, shout. And then what, City will be about 30 points and then, off again. And then come Euros. Well, listen, mm. So you're saying come you don't, Euros is Ballon d'Or time. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. I'm Should not ready to, be, I need to... Yeah, I need to see what right, everyone cool. does. I think Liverpool, I look at City, and I think they will complete the Thiago deal eventually because they'll realise from now till the end of the window... They need to do something. They need something in that team. I think there's going to be a lot of panic buys in general. So cool, that's that. Do you want to... Where do you think your team will finish? In the video, where do you think your teams will finish? Not sure, mate. <laughs> mate, uh, I've already said that. We're, we're not we getting top second. four. I can confirm that now. St- straight out the gate. I, I think our best hope at Champions League is trying to go for the Europa and Blame Chelsea shit housing his way through the Europa League. Blame mm. me. And I, I think, think so, I, I, and I'll take that. That will be two birds, one stone. You're saying this out the gate, the Champions League. So why did Bro, why did you wear your kit today? You? Listen, the kit's nice. <laughs> the only thing you had in the washing. I mean? Man came, <laughs> what is kit? Say, yeah, we're not getting we're not getting Champions League this year. What? You think you think I'm gonna back that team? That's the same team as last year, bro. We didn't get top four last year. You yeah, think I'm going to all of a sudden I mean, say, because well, of Hoiberg and Doherty came. Nah, hey, United 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 but United. I saw your videos. You the, looked optimistic, brother, bro. Optimistic. Shrewd business. My nigga. Shrewd business. <laughs> Shrewd business. And elevating business. We're gonna be battling, I reckon United and Arsenal are going to be battling for fourth. Yeah. I better see Chelsea in the top three. And no, t- top t- two. Going for the title. And I better see City keep going and Liverpool as well. Liverpool, they've got the they're the ones that are the champions, so they got the most leeway, I guess. But Chelsea, I'm on Chelsea this season still. Can I ask I'm you a question? Chelsea. But I think we're gonna finish. Yeah, us and Arsenal, old school little tug, but this time it's for <laughs> why, why? I think a lot will depend on if you get Sancho or not. Yeah, yeah, we're Sancho. not getting Sancho. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask you a question? Oh, that's done. Based on based on what you guys did last season and kind of the defense, even though people were getting on the Maguire and the defense unit not conceding a lot. And you guys having a renaissance and finishing third. Why are you not optimistic that if these teams above are going to drop, you guys can do this something? Little horse Why is it just I see beyond the surface. <laughs> oh, I shit. I see beyond the surface. We've got I new bars. I don't, I don't, it's I don't, a new season. <laughs> I don't look at... <laughs> <Isn't> that <life? laughs> I, don't, I don't look at what things... Say that, say I that again. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> they need to get used to it. Beyond, beyond the, the surface. surface. <laughs> Listen... I don't look at things at surface level. You know what I mean? Some fans be looking at it like this. You see, some people look at the mountains. They it's only see the mountain top. They don't see the mountain top. They don't see the mountain They don't see what built exactly. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what I see. You know what I mean? I see beyond the Drop game, drop game, drop game. Drop game, drop game. I see beyond. A lot of United fans will be saying that. Listen, I'm telling you now, listen. Drop game. There's a lot of people I've got my eye on. You know what I mean? I got my eye on on wan Yeah. I've got my eye on on Bruno, yeah? Because Bruno, right? Listen, I'm not one to be fooled. Bruno changed my United. Uh, right, listen, uh, right. Bruno changed my United season. No one can take that away from him. Mm-hmm. He did. Facts, proofs in the put, stats are there. Nothing you can say about that. But post lockdown, my United, bro, my United are not getting 22 penalties this season. You know what I mean? Bruno, you can get away with bad performances because you're going to put the pen away. It's great that you're that reliable. But I see beyond that, bro. When you get the ball... And you're getting assists for passing it to Martial to his feet and he takes on two and bends it top bins. That don't impress me, bro. In terms of Man United, people saying that Man United became much more creative under when Bruno came. That's a lie. We never did. We did not. Mason Greenwood came in. Rashford was there. All of our players were fit. 
and we played a little bit better. And But again, a lot of our goals were still individual stuff. Mm -hmm. Bruno, I see Man United, the gaps between Pogba, Matic and Bruno, it doesn't look like a midfield that, that, is, good, that is working like Destroying that. Destroying almost. Yeah, and I'm doing it to say, I'm not saying Bruno is the reason Man United are not going to finish in top four or whatever, but I'm just saying, I know a lot of United fans are excited about that type of stuff. Only benefit of the doubt I'm going to give him is because post-lockdown games were thick and fast. Thick and fast. Same yeah. as Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba, I'm watching you as well, bro. There's no ex there's no hiding place anymore. This is your fifth season. How long has he been? Yeah, season. Say, it's your been? fifth season. I want to see a player of the year season, mate. It's been too long. It's been way too long. You're Paul Pogba. Mate, it's Facts. been way too long, bro. And people are going to say, oh, you're being harsh. I, I don't care, bro. I don't no, care. I real. need to it's see something. Because... You, I'm tired of people saying, imagine Pogba at this team. Imagine Pogba at this team. There's no imagination, mate. How he many midfielders are gonna United. how many midfielders are we gonna wait till he's finally unlocked? Uh, look, well, that I'm whole sure. unlocked thing is just <laughs> is a bit silly. But in terms of Pogba needs to be he needs to improve. Rashford post lockdown was horrible. You're gonna need to improve. But again, I can't ever feel too confident as a Man United fan with Ole in charge. It's just as simple as that. I, I just can't. <laughs> the PE teacher. I, 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 just, I, just, I just can't. Geography. And in, when I'm looking, no, no, man, at, they're not even when I'm looking at the... Look, when I'm looking at how aggressive Man United are moving in the market, no aggressive, aggressiveness. Mm? Why is Jayden Sancho not here? Where's Welcome our left back? Where's our... Bro, I'm, I'm concerned, bro. You signed Van Der Beek. Man United fans are excited. Van Der Beek, who d doesn't even like playing with the football, bro. He likes off the no, ball, no, no. He, running... He likes He's a good player. He's a good All player. right, let's see. Let's see I what think, happens. I think you lot got a good let's player see. there, but I think you lot definitely need a couple. The issue more. is, do you think no, Man can get the best? I, the way I, was I about see it, Van Der Beek is a good, good player. players and then putting them this into the, the system thing. to make them work. You look at, but you look at these other clubs, yeah. You look at the other clubs and you see when if they if if there's a player linked with Man City, what do you say? Mm, I don't know if that's a City player, you know. When you look at Liverpool, mm, I don't know if that's a Liverpool kind of player. Yeah, you don't even know. You just get with Man United and just say, oh yeah, there's a player there. Let's just hope it works out. That's how I see it. Van der Beek you is don't a just good... sign profiles. You yeah, don't sign Van der Beek fits. is a good football player. Yeah, but We're Manchester what, United. Scout. <laughs> what Man United need? Yeah, what Man United Wise need? Scout in FC. my opinion, we still need more creativity. We still need off the ball stuff. Isn't necessarily what I look at Man United and think that we need. And when I look at Van der Beek, his I goals. When I look at his play, up. when I look at Van der Beek's goals and the way he plays, he's getting in the box. And I said he kind of reminds me of like how Aaron Ramsey used to be. Maybe a better version. I don't really know, but. We'll see when he I gets think, in. When he gets in the box and stuff, man, I don't even I think create. That's one man, thing, I don't listen, even create one chances. Thing, one thing so what happens? Season, I remember right, what no. happens if if Pogba's injured or Bruno's injured? We got no creativity. Nah, again. but one thing again. you were saying was the quality does dip when one of Agreed. those two come yeah. off. And, and I think he enough. maintains that quality a little bit. I think for Ajax, he was always one of those. I saw Holland game. He only made teams. five passes the other day. Uh, listen, I wasn't Sorry, too much into that man. Sent him in. It's, listen, listen. I, I'm gonna I be think, real. I'm gonna be real. Player. I'm I get, not, I'm I not get, super well versed on Van der Beek. I'll be real. I respect you for so saying that. I'm gonna wait and see. I've got my concerns. I've got my time. concerns, but I'm not gonna write him off. Mm. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna look. All I can say is when I look at him, he reminds me of a more of an off the ball footballer than on the ball. And my night for me need on the ball. But that's all my. I, all right, let's boom. see what he does. Moving I'm on swiftly because we ain't got much time. One word answers. Top goal scorer. Who's gonna be? Ooh. Salah. Oh, it pains me to say it, but I actually think it'll be Oba. Oh, yeah. I that brother. Be Oba. Uh, is, he, he, listen. Bro, he, he's different. He, I've already, say, I've already say, conceded. Say what you said in the GC. What? what about, about he's, he's the first player on this podcast to make you change your mind. Yeah, no, that's true. That that's it, true. That's can, true. Turn the Oba's serious. Turn the Oba's, no, no. Yeah. You gotta give. That's like, a camera free, please. Yeah. Free, please. <laughs> you gotta no, give big credit. Team, no, give him his credit. No, you gotta give credit where it's due because. My thing about Oba and hey, I was right. At the I end said, of the I day. Said one that one first answer, season, though. I was statistically, I was right. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> nah, come that week. Hey, wait, 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 no, I was statistic, statistically, statistically, I was right. Stop padding. I was right. You said he was, was I not right. Was you, I not right? Listen, no, so I was, he was killing against the little was teams. Was I not right? But he may have just been loading. Okay, that's fine. He it may looks have like he was. It looks like the very next season he was banning up against the big teams. No, 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 not really. Last season is is where yeah, yeah, last season is what I mean. But he was towards the back end though. Towards the back end. He's still. But for me, I'm not. I'm gonna be real. I'll be real with Aubameyang. Nah, he he he's impressed me. Like because not even that he is clearly the leader of that squad now as well. You know when Aubameyang was scoring before, it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, you didn't really see him as a leader, but that captain armband might have done something bro, for him. for real. Abba is the leader of that team. I just he think scores so many goals. And the thing is, he's scoring in big games. And 
the way winning he's them even cuts. scoring. Yeah. He's, uh, he's winning even, them. The, my man's not even scoring tap ins and that. He's scoring, he's scoring, scoring he's great. Bro, bro, that goal on the weekend, I'll be rude. I it was a replay of the cup final. Bro, but listen, so Abba, Salah. Salah. I don't know why. I just thought for some odd reason Aguero is going to have a good season this year. I don't know where it is. Maybe this because is, it's this, uh, is, this is the Aguero pet. This is where it comes to the the car crash end. I'm telling you. For this me, is, I think last it's year a, of his contract as well, wasn't it? It's, it's supposedly so. For me, I think it's a season where he Whoa. kind of like because he's always had them seasons where he scored loads of goals, but he's been injured. Who's for, better, Aubameyang or Harry Kane? Harry Kane? Right now, yeah, no, who's no, better? No. Has better. Aubameyang uh, surpassed Harry Kane? Yeah, I would say so. Fez, Fez. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm, uh, it's still up in there. I'm, I'm, I'm still Kane? put Kane, but I can hear the argument for Oba. Put it that way. Mm. Cool. I, I'm, I, I'm, young, I'm very much. We ain't got a time. Young, Oba, young, young player of the year. Who's gonna be the young player that stands up this season? It's one or two for me. I think Greenwood or Foden. Tariq Lamptey. <laughs> hey, good shout. Yeah, but I think uh, after yeah. seeing one game, I think we might be getting the, the one game hype. That's this is gonna be the young player of the year. You know what I mean? Greenwood. Money Mace. M M G G. M G. <laughs> Listen, the media are trying to knock that brother down. Yeah. Already. The media are already trying to they, you oh, know what? Them, they're the two fuck boys, isn't it? Yeah. Greenwood and Foden. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> My you, dog. you see Mason they're Greenwood. They're right to the top. <laughs> they're gonna try and knock him down. That, that's what they do. But I'm sorry, media, try it all right now because he's going to the top. So you can try as much as you want. He's going to the top. Listen, the guy's different level. There's, in terms of for his age group and what he is, he's different level. And for me, I'm, I expect him to score double figures in the Premier League this season. Yeah, so, probably about 10, 11, maybe. I don't really know. We'll see. Do that but that's going to be enough for, for, for the Premier League. For, for me, yeah, he got yeah. 10 last for me, last year, and we've, without think, even starting all them games, I think I'm telling you. Greenwood's bro. ability, like, it's undeniable. But I think one of the great things that may come as a person is if, and I think you might have to be careful here. Last season, they tried to ease him in, which is the right thing to do. United mm -hmm. fans got a bit gassed. He's gonna. He's a young player, so he's gonna go like that mm -hmm. naturally. So they need to manage him carefully. One and two, it will be I very interesting for me personally to see what happens if Rashford and Martial can't keep up the momentum they had last season, their numbers, and yeah. what happens in terms of Greenwood's um, performance. But listen, champ of the week, dud of the week for me. Champ of the week has to go to the Brazilian king who was kicking out racism out of football. Neymar, mm. literally, keep doing the Lord's work. Yeah, hey, also, Neymar's black also, now as well. Respect it. All of also, a sudden, on the, on the yeah. Puma deal, bruv. On the mm. Puma deal that he signed this week. I that's, respect that's, the Puma deal because at the end of the day, that's like, like it's, it's big. All of them, the Maradona, the them that have the boots. But like, kicking out racism, I respect it. It's good to see Criminal. black people claim they're black. No, he has the, them man have the boots. South American greats have the boots. But, um, criminal of the week for me. I'm sorry. It has to go to the whole Spurs team. For me personally. <laughs> for me personally I just think playing like that at home <laughs> on the first day back when all the fans had waited how many like days like mm. two weeks three weeks for a I Spurs fan to me as a criminal for mm. the photo shoot hmm? I'll, t I'll take it nah, you take nah, nah, you, yeah. <laughs> no you can't take the fool I take the fool for my team you yeah. can't take the fool <laughs> listen that's another episode remember Black Last Man make sure you subscribe everywhere listen we're back live in the flesh we're here listen we're back restore it we move